Since July 2013, when Egypt's military, led by Defense Minister Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, overthrew Mohamed Morsi, the country's first freely elected leader and a senior member of the Muslim Brotherhood, the Egyptian authorities have engaged in a widespread campaign of arrests and intimidation targeting a broad spectrum of political opponents. The Egyptian government arrested and detained by its own admission at least 34,000 people. Most senior Muslim Brotherhood members were held in Egypt's maximum security prison, Scorpion. There are now as many as 1,000 people in Scorpion prison. And we know from our investigations that the prison conditions do not meet basic international standards. One of the worst violations we found during the course of our research into the conditions in a Scorpion prison um, was the lack of medical care. The Interior Ministry, which controls the prison, has interfered with and deliberately denied medical care to detainees there. We know that six inmates died there in 2015. Imad Hassan had been diagnosed with cancer in January 2015. His wife made numerous appeals to allow him to receive medical care at Scorpion. She even wrote letters to President Sisi. She received no reply, and Ahmad died in September 2015. What happens in Scorpion is often quite secret because the government regularly bans families and lawyers from visiting the prison. Between March and August 2015, the government denied all visits, and as a result, inmates who rely on their families for food and medicine because what the government provides is so paltry weren't able to receive it. This caused a lot of additional suffering for the inmates there. One of the ways that inmates have protested their terrible prison conditions, including lack of adequate food, including a lack of medicine, is by going on hunger strikes. Actually, on the very first day I, I, I uh, arrived at the maximum security prison, they kind of uh, force fed me physically. And then later on, the, on that day, the prison warden came to me and said, uh, look, I'm going to be serious with you. Either you, you cut your hunger strike or, you're gonna, or you will stay here for as long as it takes. The CC administration has made very clear how it deals with political opponents. It arrests them, tries them in trials that lack fair standard procedures, detains and abuses them at Scorpion prison, and largely cuts them off from the outside world. At the very minimum, Egypt's prison administration should ensure that detainees receive adequate medical care, proper diet, and regular access to family members and lawyers. The recommendations we're making are not special privileges for detainees, but the very bare minimum that international law requires detainees be provided. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it.